Libraries are the type of service that government offers that continues to do what it does, improves on what it's doing, and makes a difference in the community, but it doesn't get the fanfare. I'm Jennifer Wexing, I'm the congressman for this district, and I'm so excited to see all of you guys here today. Their community centers, their early childhood education centers, their gathering places for, you know, young parents or retired folks. They're places where kids get a love of reading and of learning that's going to come with them for the rest of their lives. It's now a community center. We want them to have all the opportunities to do whatever it is they want to do. Libraries are a place where you can go to get away. You can go to get the information that you need to make your own life in your own neighborhood successful. It's so important to get the members into these spaces and show them what you're doing and what you could do if you had more resources. There's no substitute for actually coming in, and we're not that scary. <laughs> These are books that are designed to help Spanish English language learners. So in here, we talk about STEM education, the maker spaces. We have 3D printers. We have a recording studio, sewing classes. Oh, cool. So this is elementary coding. And each of these segments of the Caterpillar tells it to move in a certain direction. Here we have a maker space. We have the Coda Pillar, you know, all kinds of little games and things for kids to teach them STEM and tech that they don't even realize that they're learning those skills. Some people have a kind of a restricted notion of what a library is and what it can do, and we really don't fall into that. It's um, important to us that we stretch the boundaries of what a library can do. Good nice to, meet, to you. meet you. There are very few places that a congressman can go in their district and get a full slice of that community than the library. It's great advertisement for our organization that, that someone in our organization is having someone come visit. And it's an opportunity for pictures and uh, Facebook posts and all that good stuff. I would really encourage ALA members and other libraries to think about the needs of their community in a holistic way and to think about what needs the community has and to meet those. I connected with a state senator. He was very much into early literacy, so we just sat there and talked for half an hour about that and how important our story times were for developing young minds. We are all in this because we want to serve and we want to help our communities, and there's no place that does that more than the library.